So my last lecture got cut off. So in a minute, we're gonna talk about mutualism and commensalism, but first I wanted to talk about this last idea of uh, malarian mimicry. So these are two butterflies. These are both in the Heliconia genus, uh, but they are indeed separate species and they are evolving to look more and more like one another. They are both slightly toxic. And so it is very advantageous for them to look like this toxic species of butterflies. So again, they're looking more and more like one another because they're both a little bit toxic. And so it makes their toxicity more powerful if birds think that, oh, or you know, whatever's gonna eat them think, anytime I eat something that looks like this, it's gonna make me sick. So that's malarian mimicry, two toxic species evolving to look more like one another. So again, here we go with mutualism and commensalism. So mutualism is when both uh, individuals of two species are benefiting from an interaction. So an example of this would be a rhinoceros and an oxpecker bird. So they, the, the oxpecker birds sit on top of the back of the rhino. Um, the rhino gets rid of ticks because those oxpecker birds are eating them. And the oxpecker birds uh, are getting a safe place to sit. Nothing is going to mess with them if they're on top of a rhino, right? Not very many predators are going to walk up to a rhino and try to eat these guys. Um, you also have Randall shrimp and the flag table ta tail um, shrimp goby. So um, the goby is protecting the blind shrimp, and the uh, sh shrimp is burrowing a hole into which that goby can run into. So these two live together. Um, they're both benefiting from the relationship. Uh, the sh goby gets a hole out of it, and the shrimp gets some protection. We also have commensalism in which uh, one species benefits and the other species is indifferent. So that other species doesn't really care either way. It's not helping it, it's not hurting it. It doesn't really have any effect on it. Um, excuse me, let's go back to commensalism for a second. So an example of this uh, would be um, cattle egrets. They sit on the backs of cattle. There aren't very many predators for them on the backs of cattle, but that's not really why they're sitting there. It's not providing them any protection um, necessarily. And it, what's happening is the cattle are moving through the grass, they're kicking up bugs, and the cattle egrets are eating the bugs. So basically it's a positive for the cattle egrets and a neutral for the cattle because the cattle, it doesn't really matter to them. They don't care um, that the egrets are eating the bugs. There's so many bugs, it's not really reducing the bug population. And so one species benefits and the other doesn't really make a difference. So coevolution is the interdependent evolution of two or more species. This is different, this is very different from convergent evolution, similar sounding idea, but a different concept. So uh, this coevolution uh, would be like these flowers evolving particular colors. So this flower indeed looks nice and yellow to you or I, but to the bees, it looks like, hey, there is food. This, this the flower has developed um, ultraviolet colors that bees can actually um, identify, you can see it, it looks like this black patch here, this ultraviolet patch. Hey, come here. Um, there is food here. Please come pollinate me. So the flowers have, ident have evolved a color pattern that bees can actually see. So here are these three, or I'm sorry, four different types of community interactions. Competition, uh, where one organism is harmed while the other is harmed. So if you are squirrels fighting for acorns, you're both going to do worse as a result. Predation and parasitism, one organism gains while the other is harmed. So again, the predator is going to gain and the thing that it eats is not going to you know, gain. If getting eaten by a, an eagle is not what the snake wants to do with its life. Mutualism, both species gain. So that would be those, um, what was the example? It was those oxpecker birds. And then commensalism, one species gains and the other ones, eh. I don't really care, it didn't do anything for me. So that would be the example of those uh, cattle egrets. The, the cattle egrets get the bugs and the cattle just kind of doesn't change their lives at all. So next we're gonna talk about uh, an idea of uh, ecological succession within communities.